In this video, we'll talk about how you can address a particular fidget in your code. We'll discuss serial numbers, hub ports, channels, and more. Every USB fidget has a serial number. You can use this number in your code to differentiate between other USB fidgets. If you're using a Vint device, you'll have to set the hub port. The hub port refers to the physical port that your Vint device is connected to. Is hub port device must be specified if you want to use the built-in functionality of the Vint hub. And finally, you can use the channel property to differentiate between similar objects in your device. Now that we've shown you a general overview of how to address a particular fidget, we'll do a quick coding example. We'll be using the TMP1101 and we'll be connecting to thermocouple input 3 as well as the ambient temperature sensor. Here's a simple c -sharp program that I've written. The goal for this project is to output the thermocouple temperature to label 1 and the ambient temperature to label 2. I've created two temperature sensor objects and I've also subscribed to the attach, detach, and temperature change events for both of them. I now need to address the objects, which means we'll have to figure out a serial number, hub port, and channel. We can ignore is hub port device for now, but we'll come back to it later. A Vint device does not have its own serial number, so instead we'll have to specify the Vint hub serial number. This can be found on the back of the fidget. As you can see, the TMP1101 is connected to hub port 5, so we'll have to reference that in our code. To figure out the channels, I can go to the API for the TMP1101. Here, you can see the thermocouple inputs are on channel 0 through 3, and the temperature sensor, or ambient temperature, is on channel 4. I can now input this into my code. I can now run the example. As you can see, I have the thermocouple temperature as well as the ambient temperature reporting. If I touch the thermocouple, you can see the thermocouple temperature rise. Now that we've addressed the TMP1101, we're going to add a slider onto hub port 2 to demonstrate the built-in functionality of the Vint hub. This is where is hub port device will come into play. I've added a voltage ratio input object and all the relevant code. Now all that's left to do is address it. We're using the same hub, so the serial number will be the same. As you saw, we connected to hub port 2, so we'll use that in our code now. And finally, we have to set is hub port device to true because we're using the built-in functionality. There's only one voltage ratio input for the hub port. This is why we didn't have to specify a channel when we were addressing the slider. We can now run the program. As you can see, the slider value is being reported. If I move it, the value will change. We've covered the basics of how to address your fidgets in this video. In another video, we'll cover labels and how you can use them to make addressing your fidgets simpler. We'll also cover how to address your fidgets when using the Fidget Network Server. For more information about anything you've seen in this video, please visit our website.